seasons ever. Let's uh, go down and have a look at the map. You know, the most storms that we ever had in one year was uh, 21, and that was back in 1933. And in 1933, we didn't get the 10th storm until the 26th of August, and now we got the 10th storm today, which is only the 23rd, so we're three days ahead of that pace. And this is quite an array of disturbances out in the Atlantic. One strong tropical wave just coming off the coast. Here we have a hurricane, that's Umberto, another hurricane, that's Iris. We have a tropical wave that's flared up a lot in the Caribbean Sea. And last but certainly not least, as far as the USA is concerned, we have Tropical Storm Jerry, which is now moving inland in Florida uh, near Palm Beach. So here's the latest particulars. And looking at the satellite pictures and the radar and the information we have from aircraft now, we think the center is inland. And that's important to us because we know that once the center is over land, it won't increase any intensity while that's the case. However, we expect to see this storm move diagonally across the peninsula of Florida, emerge here in the Gulf of Mexico, somewhere around Apalachee Bay. And at that point, it could well once more become a tropical storm. Here's our latest uh, satellite picture, and right in there is where the circulation center is. And most of the heavy thunderstorms that are near it are down here to the south. And that's some indication of the fact that we're getting some north winds at upper levels and pushing the thunderstorms down to the south, but certainly some very heavy rain. We've seen as much as a couple inches almost in Palm Beach in an hour, and some of the uh, Doppler estimates that we have show as much as three to five inches of rain in about a three-hour period over portions of Palm Beach and Broward County, so very heavy rain indeed. And that is our biggest concern about this storm at this time, is heavy rain. Here you can see a band of heavy showers from Port Myers hooking around into where the center is near Palm Beach. Another batch of showers coming inland between Daytona Beach and down toward Orlando. So some very, very large accumulations of rain are likely in the next 24 to 48 hours over the state of Florida. Now this uh, will take you out in the ocean to our two hurricanes. This is uh, Iris out here. Uh, and you can see that's kind of nudging a little bit to the northwest. The reconnaissance aircraft is out there today and they found it was indeed a hurricane. To the east of that we have Umberto, which has been a hurricane for a while. And both of these are kind of moving off a little bit to the west-northwest, and that gives us a bit of encouragement because the farther north they get when they're out here over the oceans, the less likely to affect the United States. Too early to say whether they will, any of these storms around the Atlantic affect the U.S., but uh, we'll have to stand by and watch that. Umberto, the 5 o'clock advisory, shows it centered 1,000 miles west of the Cape Verde Islands, 1,050, 15.3, 40.5, pressure 987, wind 75 miles an hour, moving toward the west-northwest at 12 miles per hour. And this is Iris, uh, and this is only 500 miles now, just about east of Guadalupe, moving toward the west-northwest at 7. The winds are even stronger than they are in Umberto on our first advisory since this is a hurricane up to 80 miles an hour. And we, of course, are going to be watching these with a great deal of interest in the next few days. And we did want to point out, this is Umberto here, and we have this strong tropical wave that just come off the coast, and yet another one just emerging off the coast of Senegal in the western part of Africa. That's all we have that's really bothering the United States. We have Gil off the west coast of Mexico, that's moving toward the northwest of 10, but not expected to have any impact on land. Rich?